Everybody, welcome back to Stalker. Of something appropriate. And uh, I'm gonna... I, I think I wasn't a big fan of this gun, so we're gonna trade that out briefly. I like the sight on it, but everything else I hate about it, so... Let's see what other ones we have right now. Uh, we got the MG. Oh, yeah, we got this guy. Let's put on that one. And obviously we have all my other neat little rifles. I have a lot of health kits here. Like, a lot. This one's fucking huge, though. Low down, soccer. Put down your weapon. And let's have a grand old time. Alright, I guess we don't need the flashlight anymore. Because it is 18 o'clock. So, I'm gonna go down to the loot stash. And I'll also go check out that building I was looking at earlier. Uh, just because I feel like that is something we should be doing. It's just, it looked kind of interesting to me, so I wanted to, I wanted to see what it was. And then that's it for this area. I was hoping to kind of go back when Owl wanted to yell at me about the detectors, but apparently he hasn't received them yet, so... I guess we'll see, won't we? That's a lot of shit. Where's my fucking shotgun? There we go. Fuck. Oh my god, you little basic motherfucker. Don't worry, we have plenty of rounds for this. Now that's what I call the paddock shooting technique. Passed down from uh, my father to your father to someone else's father. And yeah, we're almost there actually. Actually, those monolith guys should still be here, shouldn't they? It's a shame, I gotta come back and tell them nobody likes them. Ah, oh, I think they're dying, so... That would be a bandit, but he's dead. Can't really see anybody else here. Oh, here's some guys. These are all bandits. Well, we're just going here. We don't actually care about them, so... Assuming they don't shoot at me. Okay. I have no quarrels with them, so we're not gonna fight too much with them. And here we have an MP5. And a sawed-off shotgun. Which is very difficult to get, apparently. There we go. Oh, it has slugs, too. Oh. You know what? It's not the good weapon for this situation. That's what this is for. Alright, let's get the fuck out. I actually don't want to fight those bandits. Alright. Well, we have a place over here. We have the sod off. Okay. Seriously? I'm actually surprised I can't see that far back in the night vision. Although I probably really shouldn't be. Ah, oh, there, there it is. That's where I want to go. Alright, so I just want to look at... Okay, so we got an MP5A3. With some... Do we have rounds for this or no? No, we don't have nine... Uh, the nine millimeter or whatever the fuck they are. Uh, sawed off isn't really anything good for me. Uh, so we just want the... I think we just want this one and the other one. Let's have a quick look over here. Oh. What is that? That would be a zombified stalker. I don't think I have really any reason to be in here. I think it'll just kill me with the radiation, so let's not go there. Yeah, just ignore that. That's nothing. Alright, well. 
This is what I signed up for. You know, I should mention that the master difficulty actually makes it so that you do more damage. However, everything also does more damage to you. It's a scaling of, um, I mean, the difficulty is weird in the way that, like, it makes it difficult in the fact that you'll get one hit a lot, but you'll also one hit everything else a lot. So, I've never really played it on anything other than the hardest difficulties, so, you know me. I just kind of trank it up and I see what happens, but apparently, like, that may not be what you want to do, depending upon your play style. It means you have to be careful, which I'm not, clearly. Alright, let's grab all this guy's stuff. This guy's got a nice shotgun. Okay, that looks like a party room, so let's wait a good second here. Does this uh, have anything good in it? No. I'm curious to know what's in there, but I mean, we'll do that all in due time. Hey, you know what? This could be Misery Mod where we have like wind up flashlights and shit, so you know what? Count your blessings. Wind up flashlights, man. Why is there like an infestation here? I have never actually been here, I think. I don't recognize this place at all. Okay, that's a really useless night vision. Every time, I want to make it work a little bit more. <laughs> Fucking hell. Let's have some pipes here. Why are these things all running around? Oh, it's actually attacking me. Why is there shit here? Oh, there's a ladder leading out here. Why? Yeah, I might as well just keep going up. I wish these things would just fuck off. You know, I kind of just like the fact I just kind of walked into a building with a bunch of pipes and I'm just exploring it for fun. The fuck is this? Huh. It is extremely creepy because I just have no idea what's here. Some pipes and shit. Okay. <laughs> like, you know, you know, I just, I love the fact that this game doesn't follow, like, proper conventions. Like, well, it's not proper conventions. Like, you, you walk into a big room like this, you expect something to be there, and it adds a lot of tension, and, like, there's just, there's nothing there. And it feels less like a video game, more like, you know, hey, you're just exploring something, you know? It doesn't, nothing just, nothing has to pop out and scare you, it's just, you know. Because you, you know any other game would do that. It would totally do that, you know, the level designers that make a game, make a room like that. And they feel like they have to make something like that. I think I heard an anomaly or something. Alright, let's save it here. These appear to be repeating slightly. Oh, uh, we're below that, um... We're below those grates, I just realized. 
I think I may know something that's actually supposed to be here. I may I may recollect this now. Uh I don't know why, but I, I just don't think I'm curious what to do when I step to Oh. It doesn't actually do anything. That's kinda weird. Anyways, I think I may know where we are actually. It's actually cool as fuck. Okay. Oh, it's just kind of sparks coming off of the, uh, what I'm guessing is the wires. Huh. Okay, this is totally repeating itself. But you notice how there's like similarities, like it's it, it is actually changing. Dude, this is so fucking weird actually. I'm actually getting kinda creeped out to be honest. Oh, it's getting darker because it's getting into night, that's why. Alright. There actually may be a puzzle involved with this, how I'm supposed to maybe go through all the the doors or something, uh, all the things with lights in them. Okay, maybe that's what I'm gonna do. I really wish it was day. Maybe that's all I'll do, is I'll, I'll go under each one, and we'll see what happens. Okay, maybe just go through this. I, I wish I didn't go at the fucking uh, little bit of dusk that we had. But I think I'm in a loop now. Like, it's like, like this is some portal level shit right, right here. Alright. I am not too sure right now, so let me go figure this out. Okay, I may understand this now. Apparently I'm supposed to walk through every column just straight through. It's really weird. Um, I wouldn't have guessed this actually. I don't think I ever did the Oasis actually part. I thought I did, but I'm just not right. I have no recollection of this. So, wait, here we go. See, there is one right there. So now what we do is we actually walk through all the columns in the order it wants me to. So you have to originally, you have to walk through the room under everywhere that there potentially could be one of these fields. And once we do this, now it should uh, give us what we want. Holy fucking shit, this is awesome, actually. Heart of the Oasis. Oh, you know, I'm fucking out. That's a sigh something. Where is it? Either a controller or something else. Was that was that it? I thought there was like a controller. It wasn't the dog doing that, was it? Oh, maybe it was. All right, so we just got a Heart of the Oasis artifact. Uh, pretty nice fucking artifact, I gotta say. But it's extremely radioactive, and we don't have any. We don't have any amount of, uh, because we only get minus two radiation. So if we equip it, we'll be dying slowly. Just like we are in the inside in real life. Well, love, blah, 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 real life. Sorry, I, I almost fell there. That was actually pretty fucking cool, I have to say. I actually knew, I knew it was somewhere around there, and I was like gonna try and see if I could stumble across it. And I kind of just did. Because I looked at it, I'm like, hey, that place looks interesting. It actually was interesting. So we're back at the top of this thing. But we're gonna try and make our way back to the good old doctor. You know, in the middle of the night. That's like the best time to be out in the zone. Literally ask anybody. They'll all say yes. 
Dude, night vision, night vision is still a worthless piece of shit. Uh, there's some fucking zombified stalkers here. Okay, fucking completely worthless. What, what, wait, what is that? Oh, it's just a bandit. Do I really want to be doing a night engagement here? Probably not. The answer is no, I really don't. Guys, not only is it awful to see anything, it's even more awful on YouTube to see anything, so... I would never do such a thing to you guys. Besides the fact that I kind of just started running out here, like, way earlier than I should have. I need to find an artifact that, like, gives me way more radiation minus thing. Because I want to use the... I, I really want to use that item. Also your weapon. I don't think I've ever done this. It's actually really cool, actually. And I, I didn't figure out that puzzle until, like, yeah, I had to see what it was about. Uh, let's see. Is there any... I can see what you can repair my shotgun. Uh, you can repair the suit, too. And I guess you're good with that. Good luck. Alright. I found the oasis. Uh, you know, I, I don't want him to take away from me, so I'll see what happens. Uh, really? Existent? If you don't consider me a skeptic, but did you bring something proof? Yeah, I found something that looks like an artifact. Pass it to me quickly. Uh, okay, let's see what happens if he takes it. If he keeps it, then. Splendid. It must be a study melee. Oh, by the way, for your services, here's your fee. Uh, yeah. Have a fuck off. I want that thing. Dude, it's not, it's not worth 7,000 to give away what is the best artifact I think I've found ever. That shit needs it's to always... be on me right away. I found the Oasis. Yeah, I found it. Uh, it might be of use to me. This is extremely selfish of, of you, no, not to mention dangerous. Uh, the exact properties of the artifact are unknown. Are you going to, uh, what are you going to do to, uh, tomorrow if you find your legs paralyzed or your skin is turning green? I assure you that these objects are best handled by scientists. And at the very least, we strive to protect ourselves from them. Yeah, your scare tactics won't work on me. I'm gonna keep it. Yeah. <laughs> My skin turns green. Alright. Uh. Yeah, the documents he doesn't care about. Alright. So I literally just came over to kind of rub it in. Okay, apparently this quest never ends. I wonder what the deal with that is. Let me actually have a look. I wanna, I'm curious about this now. Okay, I kind of, I was really curious about what this thing is. So, it's not that great of an item. That's the thing. Uh, it, it has a huge radiation thing, and the bonuses it gives are very small. And not incredibly useful. Uh, that's the general consensus on this item. Because I can't even use it right now without, like, having just a shit ton of radiation bombard me. Um, however, if I give them uh, the Oasis, uh, the problem is going to be that it's actually going to affect the ending somewhat, apparently in a negative way. So we're actually not going to do that. It's just from what I saw, so we're going to just keep it on us now. Uh, which means, like, I mean, the way the reason you'd actually want to, like, use it, um, is if you're, like, a completionist whore and you just want to complete every single quest in the, that the game has to offer. Uh, I mean, that's totally acceptable. Uh, but, I mean, I'm not really kind of like, I don't really care, to be honest, so. I, like, it's just going to be stuck there the entire time. You saw what happens when you finish it, really nothing happens, so. Um, why is it dark in here? I thought we had lights here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the Oasis over here. Let's put this guy here. We're going to take our L, whatever the fuck this is, gun. Uh, let's unload this guy. We're gonna sell him. We're gonna put this guy over here. I'm gonna keep that guy. Well, actually, no. Let's let's put away the pistol. I didn't even use it actually at all. He's gonna suck balls later. And the slugs can also go back. I think. Uh, I'm I'm actually kind of interested to see what the what it does for the range. I really do not need this many health packs. Uh, I guess I'll just put 
I don't know about these documents. These documents are waning though. I'm gonna put the. Can I put the artifact in here? Oh, I can't. What's the deal with this? Why can't I? Uh... Oh, I can't put more things. It's just this art. This one artifact. Can I put this one here? Yeah, I can put this artifact there. But the uh, heart of the oasis doesn't actually want to go there. Hey, oh shit, dude, we just got a 9mm suppressor. Where's my suppressor? No, no, I'm being suppressed. Give it to me. And what, what, what kind of scope can it have on it? A Trijun ACOG. That's actually the fucking awesomest thing I've ever seen. Trijun ACOG. I don't know if I want an ACOG scope with this thing. Oh my god. Dude, look at this floating on the over the fucking air. Oh my god, I'm, I'm sticking my sights into the little air hole that it has. Fuck. Alright, let's take it apart. Um, okay, that's a, um, as you may have imagined, that is not actually a good sight for it. Uh, uh, tactical red dot. Okay, there you go. That's something that's okay. Okay, that, that looks slightly better. All right, that actually looks kind of cool. And what else could you have on a ta uh, Seymour tactical site? Um, yeah, that's no good. Uh, and okay, so we we can use the red dot on it. And yeah, the heart of the oasis cannot actually be put away, so I'm kind of stuck with this for now. Uh, but that's that's okay. You know what we're gonna do? Let's run around with this gun for a bit, because that sounds actually fucking awesome. Alright, we're gonna put the shotgun away and put all the slugs away and everything like that. So I can have an automatic or... I can have it on burst fire as well, so that's kind of pretty cool. How much does this weigh compared to the shotgun I had? Probably not as much. Come on over! Um... Oh, that's the Oasis and found an artifact there. Are you interested? Let me see if he is. He never expected me to believe that. Yeah, nobody else will buy it. I'm looking for people to guard the scientist's bunker. You know anybody? You won't find anyone here better than Freedom. You can try and work out something with the stalkers, but they're not exactly trustworthy. All right, maybe maybe I'll give the work to um, Freedom. Uh, so before I try and do anything else, we'll try and see what the deal with that is. Duty. I never know which way is the, the right way. It's the one without. Hey, bro. It's the one without a nitro. I should know that. Come on in, man. Relax. All right. Uh, you want to give me a squad of a uh, squad to go to Pripyat with? If I had one to spare, I probably would, but I don't. Sorry. All right. Um, scientists looking to recruit people, some people. Can you send anyone? Well, it depends on the job. They need their bunker protected. All right. I'll send some of my boys. Okay. Well, that well, was easy. Um, I have documents from Jupiter Plant. Um, that was looted before the stalkers even got there. There's some decent info there. I'd like to show this to someone. Uh, is there any reason I'd want to give them that? Oh, the monolith fighters. No, he's still skeptical about that. Uh, let me see if there is actually someone else I'd want to give that to uh, to him too. All right, I can give them to L too, but I already made that mistake, so. Uh, I'm gonna give him the documents from Jupiter Plant. Pick them all. So he got a bunch of them. Uh, yeah, he's still skeptical. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, will he do it? Uh. Yeah. Okay. Take so care. He, he won't do anything with the documents, unfortunately. Came up to one of our people guarding the bunker and asked him. I think we have a reward from one of them too, but we won't really bother with that. Alright, take me to take me back, back to Stregavalak or whatever the fuck it is. Alright, welcome back to here. And what are we doing here? Uh, well, we have a... we got to inform Gonta of Magpie. How are you? I think it's the dickhead who was, um... Uh... They found Magpie, yeah, he was posing a flint. He's been dealt with. Like, oh, dealt with, that's a pity. I would have liked to hurt 
A cockroach myself. Oh, well, it's good news either way. Take this. Alright, we got that easy ass uh, quest line little guy here. Um, this guy has no job for me. About those detectors. I took the I detectors to Nick Love. Wait for them to tank care with him. He promised he'd send me. Not take a hike. Send them over to the trusted man once he's done. Alright, so that's it for that guy. Wonder what other kinds of shit he has here. I mean, I already have one of these protection suits. I was looking if there's any like decent ass 760 suit suppressor for SVD sniper rifle. Damn, son. He's also got some ammo for my gun here, so maybe we want a couple of these. Well, I don't know if I want that much. Actually, doesn't cost that much, anyways. All right, bye. That's right. Hello, stuff. All right, let's see what this guy has. Just kind of curious, you know, if he wanted a, he wanted an exoskeleton at some point, but that's I think another zero more than I have. Uh, that would be correct. <laughs> see you later. Hey, bro. All right. Well, we're best get done with this before I go rather like well, super over luck, time. Man. I'd rather, uh, I'd rather cut it off here, guys. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'm gonna sleep for an hour. Goodbye.